Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. My bin of empties is super big and I'm so excited to share with you everything that I used up. Now, we're gonna do something a little different this time. I'm just gonna organically go through the basket. So we're not gonna sort from candles to wax melts to beauty to skincare to like home items. We're just gonna dive into the basket and see what I used up. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Starting off with a hand soap refill. These are the Bath & Body Works Gentle & Clean Foaming Hand Soap Refill. And this is in Kitchen Lemon, Zesty Lemon, Sparkling Citrus, and Italian Bergamot. I love Kitchen Lemon. It's such a staple for the kitchen. And if you're not familiar, Bath & Body Works recently launched the hand soap refills. So if you have a favorite fragrance in hand soap, chances are if it is a bestseller, there is a refill of it now. There's Black Cherry Merlot, Mahogany Teakwood, White Tea and Sage, Chris Morning Air, Strawberry Pound Cake. There's so many great ones that now you can refill. And you can actually fill your soap bottle, it tells you on the side here, up to 3.6 times. So almost four times out of this bottle. And it retails for $13.95. I used a reward for this, so I got it for free. But you could actually do... Um, they do promotions on these all the time. They have these glass decanter bottles if you wanted a little bit of a fancier, higher end hand soap dispenser. My only thing is I love changing my scent and I love this. This is very environmentally friendly, especially because pumps, no matter what, are not recyclable. The bottles are, but the pumps are not. So instead of keeping on buying, like if you use, if you use kitchen lemon all the time and you're buying five at a time, you know, and then whenever it's empty, buying five more to just buy one of these. And also storage wise, you're only storing one thing under your sink or in your cabinet or wherever you store your hand soap for you to, you know, refill. But I like changing my scent so much that after all of this, Kitchen Lemon, I don't want to use Kitchen Lemon anytime soon. So, and don't forget, like, this is empty, but I just refilled my bottle for the last time. So now it's full again, and I have another whole bottle of Kitchen Lemon to go through. So it's a hit or miss depending on what works for you. But if you love a scent, that's all you use. This is great for that space. Speaking of Bath & Body Works, I finished a sweet tea and lemonade candle. This is from last year. It had the really fun, juicy, yellow, like, blocked top. And it had this, like, velvet label that said sweet tea and lemonade. The notes are brewed sweet tea, fresh squeezed lemons, and sugar crystals. Now, if you can see in here, the wicks are pretty um, long. And you can tell that because... I just stuck this in the candle lamp and dumped it out because this was such a poor performer after the second burn. The first burn was fine, but the second burn, it got so sooty and the flames got so low that there were black specks all over in the wax. And I was like, nope, not going to happen. Blew that out, stuck it under the candle lamp. And after I couldn't smell it anymore, I just dumped that layer and so forth and so forth until it was here and I got enjoyment out of it that way. I love the scent of sweet tea and lemonade. It truly does smell like freshly brewed iced tea and lemonade like an Arnold Palmer. And it was really, really great, um, but the performance was just really, really terrible on that one. I finished a counter clean from Scentsy in, is this Make a Splash? I love our counter cleans. I'm actually out of counter clean and I can't justify paying shipping to order more. So it's just in like a never ending cart of mine on the website that once I place an order with a bunch of other things, then I have a couple counter cleans in there. But I just went to Target and bought a Mrs. Myers, like a peony spray for the counter. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe I ran out of counter clean. Like I don't even have other season counter cleans. So craziness, but I did finish this. I love our counter clean. I love make a splash. It's citrusy, it's aquatic, it's fresh. It is really beautiful. So I finished that up. I finished two clams of Strawberry Sweetie from Scentsy. I had this going when I was burning um, Kringle Strawberry Lemonade. This is nice. It's a very, very candied strawberry. This was from Bring Back My Bar, so you can't get it right now. But it was just a very candied strawberry. Reminds me 
of those hard strawberry candies that you used to eat as a kid or still now. Hey, no judgment. And they have they look like a strawberry. They have like the seeds on the outside and the green leaf on top. That's what this smelled like. It was a nice strong performer. It went for a couple days. So I enjoyed that one. I actually have this going in my bedroom right now. This is absolutely perfect from the Aristocats. This is like a cherry blossom fragrance. It's nice. It's a very, very light, powdery pink floral fragrance. I could see this in like a nursery or a little girl's room. Doesn't really feel like a scent that I would melt in my bedroom or in anywhere in my apartment, honestly. It's just not my type of scent. It's a very pretty light, feminine floral not worth the extra seven or the extra seven dollars the seven dollars the extra dollar for a licensed bar just doesn't really speak to me next i finished oh yes okay we were in lilac heaven okay so i love fresh cut lilacs from bath and body works at least i thought um but after burning other brands' lilac candles, it's there's so many far superior lilacs to Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works, which I have a bunch here we'll talk about, is just very, very powdery. We'll get into that. But anyway, I finished this fresh lilac from Kringle in the Three Wick. It completely burned down, as all Kringles do, with no problem. The hand-painted, well, not hand-painted, but computer-painted jars that have all the pretty lilacs. This is the best lilac fragrance as of right now for me. And it's not just because I'm an ambassador. Listen, there's other fragrances that I like from other brands too. The notes are lilac, floral musk, freesia, jasmine, magnolia, sweet pea, and tuberose. But this truly smells like a beautiful purple lilac bush with the greenery, with the absolutely a beautiful spring air outside. This was perfection. If I could recommend any lilac fragrance, it would be this one. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. It is beautiful. I know so many people love lilac fragrances in the spring. I am also one of them. It just makes you feel so great, so renewed. You have the windows open. You have that fresh spring air wafting in. It's perfect. So I love a Kringle's Fresh Lilacs. Now let's talk about this mess. This is Lilac Blossoms from the Yankee Candle new Three Wick Collection. I actually just watched Katie's video, um, Katie's Joyful Life, love her. And she had such a great experience with this candle. I, on the other hand, did not. I burned this for four hours at a time, trimmed the wicks. Let's just say the wicks, the flames got so high on this during the first couple burns, like, like so high, like flamethrowers. Like it was epic. It was a very, very, very high performer as I drop it, a very high performer. And then all of a sudden, nothing like it was. So it got what Bath and Body Works candles do sooty on the sides and black and murky on the inside. And I was not about that. So I just stuck this in my candle lamp to give the rest of its life. I have one more of the Yankee Three Wicks, but I just don't think they're for me. Yankee has really, really, really gone downhill. And it's so sad to see a brand that was so iconic move to such a terrible, terrible branding. It just, it's really rough, at least for me. And that's my opinion, but everybody feels differently. I just, Yankee really has done some really poor, poor choices, I think. And I don't know where they want to go. Like they had that like young teen line. They have Chesapeake Bay. They have Woodwick. They have like all sorts of stuff. I don't even think they know what direction they're going, to be honest. So yeah, I'm not a fan. The scent was fine. It was more of a sweet artificial lilac though. Like I feel like the lilac blossom candle from Yankee almost smells like a lilac hand soap that's like at a generic like grocery store that you would see like lilac and they'd be like oh that's a lilac candle or a lilac hand soap and you smelled it and it smells very artificial lilac-y that's what this smells like to me so I wasn't the biggest fan of the fragrance either speaking of fan of the fragrance this is Cake Me to Paradise from Scentsy oh my lanta I love this this is cakey but it's more of like a white cake. So you're not going to get this really super rich bakery scent, which I know a lot of people do enjoy from Scentsy. 
you're not gonna get that super rich cake. It's more of a white cake. So I do get a bakery element from it, but it's not this rich decadent cake. Mixed with a citrus and that rum note, really blend this and make it a beautiful tropical fragrance in wax. I did this in my bedroom. It was not as strong as I would like, and it didn't last as long as I would like. But what I did smell when I smelled it was really, really great. And I don't think it would do well in an open concept at all. My bedroom seems, if it doesn't perform in my bedroom, we have a problem. Because let me tell you, my bedroom throws pretty much anything. It's a smaller space. And it did perform, like I said, it didn't knock me out. I would like it a little stronger, but what I did smell, I really liked. And it lasted like two days. Now I finished one, two, three, just three. I think it's just three. Yeah. Three fresh cut lilac single wick candles. These were tester candles I bought at semi-annual sale. And um, I, I burned these all throughout the house one day. I actually had a fresh cut lilac wallflower plugged in as well in my living room. And then every night I would light all three of these up. I had like one on my coffee table, one in my dining room, one in my kitchen, and just let these really fill the air. Unfortunately, the fresh cut lilac candle from Bath and Body Works smells very baby powdery to me. And I didn't notice that until I smelled other brands lilac candles and saw how much more superior the fragrances truly were to the Bath and Body Works one where this is just very powdery, very, very powdery. There's no notes on this because this was just a tester candle, but yeah, and it was just very strong, but very, very powdery. So I don't think I would repurchase that one. Next, I have the Bridgerton Single Wick. I got this when they were like, what was it, $5.95? Let me tell you. Okay, look at this. Look at the black soot around this. Okay, first off, I hate the scent. Diamond of the season is disgusting. It's peach, jasmine, what does it say? Sparkling peach, sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. It smells like toilet bowl cleaner. It smells like toilet bowl cleaner. That effervescence, that bubbliness of the sparkling, it smells like toilet bowl cleaner. I burned this in my bathroom and because I was like, it smells like a bathroom. So that's where I'm going to put it. And what I could smell, which was not much, I mean, I barely got anything from this, was not great. So would not purchase that at all. I haven't purchased a Bath & Body Works candle this year. It was either an exchange or I'm burning scents from other previous years. So yeah, just not a fan. All right, next we have from Dia Sindurga, Holy Ficus. Now this was a fig fragrance. This is a luxury brand. And it's amazing how this little candle will fill a large space. I burned this in my bedroom and it was so strong. I took it out, burned it in my living room and it filled the space like a giant three wick candle would. And this is like a like dirty fig, but don't let that make it come across smelling like yucky. It was more of like earthy, green, really fresh figs coming right off of the tree where it truly encapsulates all of it. I love Dia Sandurga as a brand. They're a New York based perfume house. They make candles. Their car fragrances are incredible. They're just cardboard, but they perform so well. I have Concrete After Lightning, which is one of their fragrances in my car right now. And every time I go in the car, I can truly smell it. It's amazing. But I love this. I would totally repurchase this. I'll actually go visit the store. I'm going to visit the store next weekend. And they have a new blackout, like black forest cake perfume, which I'm very curious about. It's a whole storyline that they're working on. And yeah, really impressed. So I definitely want to give that a sniff and see what I think. I finished my hotel lobby candle in Poolside. I did partner with them on this candle. It was sent to me to review. I'm going to be honest. Listen, I give honesty here. This is a very popular brand in New York, and I can see why. It fills a bedroom. That's it. Like, and it's a small candle. Like, I'm not expecting the candle to fill a large space, but the brand doesn't offer bigger candles except their holiday fragrance. So like, I want to try the New York candle. I want to try the Paris candle, but 
I know I can only burn this in my bedroom. It's so small, it's not gonna perform in a bigger space, you know? And there's no options on their website for bigger fragrance, bigger sizes. Like, I get that, like, Diptyque, like, yeah, you're not gonna get a good performance out of a small candle, but they offer larger sizes. So there's that, you know. Dia Sundarka, though, this was super powerful. It's loaded with oils. This was not. This was very, very light. It smells like fresh sea, aquatic, like a swimming pool, but not chlorine. So don't think chlorine. Think like sunblock, warm skin, the sunshine, the wet pool. The fragrance was beautiful. It was just very, very, very light. It did perform really well. It is 100% soy wax candle, so I really liked it. I just wish the fragrance was stronger. I finished two Kringle candles. I finished Easter Blooms, right? Easter Blooms, yeah. This is from the Easter Collection. Now, a lot of other people experienced this too. These speckled jars from the Easter Collection got very, very sooty. I don't know why, if it was the, I mean, I don't, think it would be the way the glass was made that would cause it that way. Not really sure, but it did perform very sooty for me, but I loved the fragrance. This was a beautiful, sweet, fresh floral. Like, this is a fragrance I could totally see Bath & Body Works coming out with in the spring line and being like, oh yes, that's a really pretty spring floral. It leans body care it has a beautiful freshness to it, though. I did this in my bedroom every single night, uh, and I really liked it. It just got pretty sooty, but otherwise performed really great. I really, really enjoyed that one. The other Kringle that I finished was Dark as Night, and we had some really, really, really crazy thunderstorms uh, last couple weeks. So anytime it rained, which was quite frequently, I lit this one up in my office. It burned completely down. There's the one wet clip and the other one just right there. Um, very cologne -y, very deep, dark cologne -y. However, in the background, you do get that really warm, hot summer night scent. You know, when it rains, there is a specific rain fragrance. Like, there is a scent that is rain. And this is rain in a jar. It's crazy how Kringle captures that. But it's that warm, dark, like this thunderstorm rain. So I really, really liked this one. I'm not sure if this is available on the website right now. And I also wanted to say, I'm trying to use up, you can see I'm burning uh, turquoise right here from Kringle. It's literally almost done. But I'm trying to work on my older Kringle Reserve jars because they did switch to a more translucent black glass, which I really love. But I want to transition and burn my older fragrances first before I dive into the newer ones. So I'm currently working on those. I have turquoise here. I have night bloom in my living room. And I have like four or five more that I really want to work through of these dark, dark jars. So I finished that one. There's no more candles. We just have a mix of a lot of things. I have a Biosance Squalene and Hyaluronic Toning Mist. I would use this after cleansing sometimes. It was nice. It was like a light, refreshing mist. I finished another cream cleanser from Skin Rocks. My friend, well, my friend, Caroline Hirons, who I adore. I love her. I, I, I think of her as a friend because I love her on Instagram. But she is in the UK. You can order this to the States. It's like the best face cleanser I've ever used. This is my ask for jumbo sizes. I need this in a jumbo size. I love it so much and I go through it so quickly because I love it so much. I finished Canyon from Bath & Body Works. This is like an older men's body wash. Their body washes are fine formula wise. It just smells like a man. It smells like a locker room. So I just wanted to use that guy up. I finished two clams of custard apple from Scentsy. This was nice. This was like a creamy, fresh, bright apple, pineapple, strawberry. It was not what I expected. I was expecting it to be like a custard apple, but I guess a custard apple is a type of apple. It's not like a dessert. I thought it would be like a creme brulee, like an apple creme brulee, and it's not. It's just a very, very fruity apple scent. Not my favorite. Not my least favorite. It was just fine. I did Magnolia Linen. I actually think, do I just have one? No. Yeah, one Magnolia Linen. This was so super juicy. I just needed to use it up. And I did this in my bedroom. I love Magnolia Linen. This is like 
a really, really strong laundry detergent, but with the Magnolia, it sweetens it up and tones down some of the sharpness. I don't believe it's available anymore. It's not in my club, but I have a few bars of it left. I really like Magnolia Linen, and it performs and lasts a good while. This one is Strength from the Mother's Day Collection. I mean, it's almost unscented in the clam. This whole collection was such a miss for me. It doesn't really smell like much at all. So last year we got masculine fragrances for Mother's Day, and this year we got unscented bars. So it is what it is. I finished three scent shots from Candles by Victoria. I did Pink Rose Cupcake. I do these in my kitchen. I just drop a whole one in and it lasts for a couple days. This is nice. This is a sweet, sweet, sweet rose mixed with the most decadent vanilla cupcake. I really, really liked that one. I did Blushing Peaches in my kitchen. I forget what this is. I think it's like her white nectarine and pink coral mixed with her peach nectar. It's beautiful. It's a sweet, rich, juicy peach with this beautiful, feminine, like other, like, other peach, like body care. It's beautiful. I finished Strawberry Danish. This is hit and miss for a lot of people. I love this. This is a salty strawberry scent. And I know that sounds weird, but the Danish makes this like a super salty with the sweet of the strawberry. Really interesting combo. It really comes to life when you warm it and it smells like a decadent bakery. Candles by Victoria Scents are super strong. I have an ice lemon pound cake wallflower going in my kitchen. I really like that. And then my entryway finished and I replaced it with apricot and green fig, which I also really like. This is a really fresh and fruity fragrance. I love fig. And now my basket yet again is empty. Let me know what you guys were working on. Did you have any really awesome hits? Any misses? Leave any comments down below. I hope you have an incredible rest of your week. Be kind and be kind, stay, stay well, all the things. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you stay alert every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and I love you. Bye.